Okay, we want to talk a little bit about tractor safety, and this is a really important issue and a really big issue, so we're just going to touch on some key points and then get into more detail later. Um, first thing we want to talk about some of the equipment that you want to make sure your tractor has on it. Uh, probably the most important is your rollover protection structure, or ROPS for short. This is a folding unit here that allows you to fold it down if you need clearance to get it into a shed or garage. This is what's going to protect you in the event of an overturn. And those happen every year in America. People get killed. It's very important to buy a tractor that's equipped with an OSHA certified rollover protection structure. An important part of that is the seat belt. You will not be protected if you're not in this center area inside the protected zone. So you always want to wear your seat belt when you're on the tractor. Next thing is a PTO shield. This little metal guard here is to keep um, articles of clothing or hair or anything like that from getting tangled in the PTO shaft when it's turning. Now an important note to make there is you should never get off your tractor and do anything with this implement or with the PTO shaft when it's running. To a degree that shield is a, an idiot proofing feature. Um, but it's important nonetheless, and you want to make sure your tractor is equipped with it. Uh, moving forward here, this little device here is a clutch safety switch, or starter interlock it's commonly called. This little device will, uh, will not allow the starter to engage unless you have the clutch pedal fully depressed. And that's important because if this tractor is in gear and a neighbor kid comes up and turns the key on, if it doesn't have this feature, the tractor will start and it's in gear, it will immediately start moving. And people get crushed in that manner. So you want to make sure your tractor is equipped with that switch. And then you want to make sure that you're always in the saddle when you start the tractor with your seat belt buckled. Lastly, with implements, it's a big issue again, but you want to um, make sure that you're, when you're moving around, when you're transporting uh, with implements raised up, either on your lift or if we had a front end loader on the front of this tractor, you want to move around with those implements as low as possible to avoid an imbalance um, and, and decrease the likelihood of an overturn. Um, one thing that can help with that, if you look on the front of the tractor here, we have some suitcase weights. And those are intended to balance the weight of a rear implement. And you can see we could add quite a few more to this tractor. Um, but with these on the front, when you raise your three-point lift and pick your implement up in the back, it'll keep everything stable, keep the front wheels of the tractor on the ground. Those are the basics. Check back for some more segments with more detailed and in-depth information on tractor safety.